Hey Eugenia, it is Dustin. <laughs> so uh, I hope you've been doing good. And uh, yeah, it's uh, been a little while since uh, since my last video. <laughs> yeah, I would have made one sooner, but because of stuff that went on here, you know, kind of kind of delayed everything, I guess you could say. So. But uh, yeah, anyway, just kind of wanted to give you a little update video here and kind of talk and stuff like that. So I'm just at my mom's house here. So as you can see behind me, I'm just kind of in the kitchen here. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, um, <laughs> it's been uh, it's been a long two weeks with everything that happened um, here. In Medford so just kind of wanted to give you an update and kind of a little story of kind of what happened with everything so but uh, yeah so um, <laughs> basically um, let's see it was uh, Tuesday the 8th um, yeah Tuesday September 8th is when the fire happened so, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so, basically, I was um, <laughs> at my apartment doing everything like normal. And, uh, yeah, I had talked to my mom. We were kind of talking about fires because there was one up by Howard Prairie Lake and everything. They had just, they had just gotten out. So, we were just kind of talking about stuff. Um, probably around noon or so and I was just doing my normal stuff making uh, making some food in the kitchen and then I went back up to the computer and I was just kinda like checking things and um, yeah I got an email from my mom I think at that time I think I, think I messaged I was I we were we were uh, doing our little message thing um, and uh, um, I finished messaging you and I was gonna shut the computer off because it was around two o'clock um, and <laughs> I got an email from my mom and she said there is a fire that has just started right by Ashland at uh, the first Ashland exit when you're going south so and that's only I don't know, maybe four or five miles away from me. Um, so yeah, because there's my apartment here, and or <clears throat> my apartment down there. I'm I'm at my mom's house, so there's my apartment, and then if you're going south, um, like down the highway or down the freeway, you come to Phoenix, Oregon. I'm I'm like just down the street from Phoenix, maybe a half a mile. Then after that, a few miles is Talent. And then after that, a few miles is the first Ashland exit. And that's where the fire started. And it, it was actually a wildfire that started um, in the grass. So, and it was close to the freeway and they think it was human caused. So um, yeah, it started close to that exit. Um, in the grass and the winds were insanely high that day like 30 40 mile an hour and it was very warm so she sent me that email and my anxiety just kind of went through the roof so I started tracking it and um, things happened pretty quick um, <laughs> I'm still trying to like process it all you know it's kind of been emotional um, past two weeks so <laughs> Or almost, it's almost been two weeks. This Tuesday will be two weeks. So, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm tracking the fire. I'm talking to my mom. And things started to burn pretty quickly. And it started, the fire started to go along Bear Creek. Um, there's lots of trees along Bear Creek. And then there's also lots of homes. And it started to burn the trees and the homes all through there and it started snaking its way it was right along the side of the freeway it kept jumping back and forth from the east side of the freeway to the west side 
and they shut down the freeway. So, um, yeah, so basically the fire is burning and it's heading south along the tree line, burning lots of neighborhoods, uh, mobile home parks, um, regular house neighborhoods, you know, with houses, um, some commercial buildings, and it got to Talent, and it burned probably half of downtown Talent, which is a really beautiful area. They have a beautiful Camelot Theater there that I want to go to. That did not burn, luckily, but half of the other stores and buildings downtown did burn. Um, <laughs> And that's kind of an area where me and my mom will take a drive, and it's really beautiful along Talent Avenue. Um, we're still not unsh still unsure of how much of Talent Avenue on the east side of the street was burned. The west side is fine, I think, but the east side of the street, a lot was burned. Um, so it made, the fire was very erratic. It just kept going everywhere. The wind kept, I guess, blowing flames and everything to different areas, certain places are standing, other places are burned down, it's weird. <laughs> so, it got through talent and it kept going down the tree line, burning some mobile home parks and uh, manufactured home neighborhoods, and it got to Phoenix. It missed the town of Phoenix, it missed downtown. Um, from what we could see, we found this aerial footage. Uh, my mom found it. It's uh, really good aerial footage um, from the day after it all happened from a helicopter. It showed all the areas from the sky that were burned and all the ones that were okay. So, um, so yeah, it didn't burn. It didn't touch much of downtown Phoenix, luckily, like Rays and there's Walgreens, there's a little downtown area that kind of circles around. There are two one-way streets that come around, um, and all that's okay. There is a huge housing complex, though, that is just uh, uh, east of downtown Phoenix that was burned to the ground. There was like, there had to be a hundred houses in there that are gone. Um, and then parts of North Phoenix, there's a few commercial buildings that burned. Um, that's where things got bad, because uh, I'm only a half mile down the road from there. Um, <laughs> so there's like the Royal Oaks Estates, um, a Harley Davidson store, um, Garrison's Home Furnishings, all burned. Many housing subdivisions in there burned, hundreds of houses. Um, the fire kept making its way up north towards my place, burning Medford Estates. There's probably a couple hundred homes in there that all burned. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so there, it got really bad in there, and then all of a sudden the winds changed about 817 feet before it hit my complex, and it changed to the west going over the train tracks off into the farmlands and it started to burn out there and everything so yeah um, <laughs> so anyway <laughs> yeah I was pretty pretty scared that day um, I there wasn't an evacuation order yet so but I went ahead and my mom says you can start packing stuff now but my anxiety is so high <laughs> and I was pretty scared so I'm like screw it I'm just gonna start packing now so I just started packing everything up and by that time my dad he had finally got to my place there was already a traffic jam out on the highway for everybody leaving so my dad had to park at Les Schwab and walk to my place help me pack everything up I mean, I, I was, my mind was just flustered. It was like freak, I was just freaked out. So yeah, I uh, packed everything up as much as I can, all the important stuff that I could think of. Um, I did grab your drawings and I grabbed the Jesse doll that I got for you and I grabbed uh, the crystal necklace I got for you because um, I was trying to remember everything. So I did grab those things. Um, um, grabbed a lot of my stuff, um, pictures, cards my parents got me, um, st stuff my mom and dad got me, 
some stuff I forgot about because when you're flustered like that, you don't think of everything, you know? So, but uh, I had the window open and I was looking outside and you can see the ash start to come. And I, I looked out the window and you could see the smoke and it was massive. Um, so I started to load the car up and as soon as I went outside and looked to the south, there was a black wall just a black wall of um, massive smoke. It was, it, it looked like an F5 tornado. It was so massive. I mean, it, it was, it was scary looking. <laughs> so um, yeah, um, I got everything loaded in my car and got out to the traffic jam. People were nice and letting me in and letting people in and it was slow going, you know, and the jets were flying like crazy. There was like five or six aircraft coming in low at like 500 feet, dropping fire retardant and everything. It was like a war zone, it felt like. <laughs> so these jets were coming in and they were big, DC-9s, DC-10s, huge jets coming in so low and they were so close because the fire line was so close. And <laughs> I'm just scared because I'm trying to get out of there. You know, so the jets are coming in <laughs> through the smoke. Those pilots, you know, are amazing. Those um, tanker pilots and all the first responders, you know, police and fire and the paramedics, they were all, they were all amazing, you know. Um, my hat's off to those people, you know. I don't know what we'd do without our first responders in situations like this. People don't realize how important they are, you know. So, yeah, so I got out of there and finally made it to my mom's house, you know.